What's going on guys? I'm just gonna make this quick video here real quick and show you guys what you need to do when you're installing more RAM in your Alienware Aurora R9. Uh, so I'm not gonna go through like actually installing it because I'm sure you can figure that out pretty easily. It's when you open the case, which is fairly simple to do, you just, it's located like right to the right of the CPU fan or your water cooler, whatever you've got in there, you'll see it. Um, obviously you pop the sticks in, you gotta push down one side at a time, you know, they gotta click, but uh, I ran into some pretty big problems when I did mine. Um, I had two eight gigabyte sticks in there already, and then there, I've obviously bought two more of the exact same ones, HyperX Fury DDR4, 2666 megahertz, um, 16 CL, 288 pin, you know, the whole, the whole nine yards. So I bought that and I uh, was really excited to put it in, up into 32 gigs. So I did it when I booted up the computer. I you know it comes up to a screen and it tells you like hey your uh, memory changed do you want to go in the settings and see if that was supposed to happen or you can just hit continue and go to the go to your uh, your Windows 10 whatever startup screen login screen uh, so when you get there you obviously log in and everything. if everything's right it'll it'll just it'll work but what happened to me is I put in the two sticks, thought I was good to go, snapped her all back up, turned her on, and then it worked for a minute. And then all of a sudden, it just screen went black, no signal. My mouse shut down. Like my, the light on my mouse went off. Um, my keyboard stayed on, which was weird. And then obviously the light on the front of the Alienware, which is uh, right there. But anyway, did that, and then um, couldn't figure out what was going on. I thought like I thought something like crazy was happening. I I had no clue. So after a lot of research, uh, I couldn't find anything, anything online. Searching through forums, nothing on why this may be happening. So I troubleshooted I took all of my sticks out the ones that came with it and the ones that I bought and I put one that I bought in I booted it up it ran an 8 gigabyte RAM and then shut it down took that one out put the other one in it ran by itself an 8 gigabyte RAM so I know that they weren't bad RAM they were running by themselves but for some reason and they would run they also ran a dual channel 8 by 2 so 16 gigs they ran that way too and then obviously I knew that the ones that I already had ran together at 16 gigs, but I couldn't figure out why in the world they both wouldn't run at the same time to, for a total of 32 gigs without completely just shutting everything down. Like it had no clue what was going on. The system just, it freaked out. I couldn't figure it out. It's been, uh, I tried putting them in on Mon Monday night. Yeah, so today's Friday for me, Saturday morning type deal. Uh, but yeah, once you got them all in, do not go to the straight to the screen. Do not go straight into the um, go straight to your login. You're gonna want to say that you want to go to the settings, and you're gonna want to go down to uh, advanced, and then you're gonna want to click on performance options and it's gonna have overclocking feature here which I don't know what you would need to have for this to even allow you to click on it but it doesn't let you click on it and then XMP memory it's actually not even letting me click on this anymore but the way it'll be set up I'm pretty sure it's for like this for most people it might not be yours might work mine did not but XMP memory it had a drop down and it said XMP1 or disabled you have to disable it and then save and exit and go to your home screen 
because I guess XMP is like some sort of over built in overclocking feature. Okay, so I uh, my iPhone was full storage, so I had to go and delete a bunch of old videos to continue what I was saying. But anyway, XNP is some sort of like built-in overclocking feature. I'm not exactly sure what it is. Um, but you have to go in, you have to disable that for it to work because I guess it's like a profile, I guess, in a way. And it's not set up to run all four sticks. But once you uh, disable that, everything will run just fine. I've been playing, I played a game earlier for a couple hours and worked just fine. Um, I will say though that the one thing that I, if anybody out there knows that they can help me with um, is what I do to get this back to 2,666 because it knocks you down to the 2,400 megahertz frequency. I don't know if that's, like if you can't run 32 gigs higher than that or not. I'm not sure. I mean, it's not a huge deal. Uh, I've been, I was able to run a Google Chrome page, stream to Twitch, and play a game with no problems. So I don't know if that really means anything, like if it really matters that much. I've obviously seen some videos where like, the difference between 2400 and 3000 is like 10 frames a second in a game so i mean it is what it is but yeah if anyone knows if there's a way to get that back that memory back up because obviously all four sticks are 2666 sticks but they're running at 2400 basically um but yeah if y'all know how to do that let me know and uh yeah, thanks for tuning in. Um, I say um a lot. But yeah, I couldn't find any any help with this. I had to do it all on my own. Uh, if you need help opening your case or finding where things go, there's plenty of videos out there that'll show you that. But for this, I couldn't find nothing, so I figured I'd let you guys know so y'all don't run into these problems when you inevitably try to stick more RAM in your R9. But yeah, that's it for me. Uh, go to twitch.tv forward slash fang underscore morrow and uh, hang out with me when I stream. And I'll see you guys later.